W I L D Wildcats. I'm sure all of you must be wondering why I'm cheering for Wildcats today. So, on this motion that this house believes that professional cheerleading does not harm women's rights, I totally support the motion. So, standing as a first speaker from government side, today I will be doing three things, which is first, to define the motion, secondly, to introduce a little bit of history about cheerleading, and thirdly, to explain three reasons why professional cheerleading does not harm women's rights under the key phrase of showmanship, skills in sports, and also the consensus among the society. So let me get the party started. So first, let me define what means by professional cheerleading. Now, professional cheerleading can range from a dance-only squad to an acrobatic team, but the primary goal is to support a professional sports team. Now, examples of professional sports teams include basketball, baseball, and also football, where these professional cheerleaders will cheer at the sidelines. Now, it is very important for us to understand what is the meaning of women's rights. So, women's rights are the entitlements and freedoms claimed for women and girls of all ages in many societies. Who are the stakeholders involved? Now, the stakeholders involved are the cheerleaders, namely women, and also the audience. Now, let me get to you a little bit of history and introduction about cheerleading. Now, cheerleading is the first activity leadership position for females in American schools since 1924, which is actually four years after women received the right to vote. It is actually, uh, the women's right to vote is actually established on 1920. So, at those days, women are not allowed to do sports or even to vote for the president. But since the rights are established, they are free to vote for their own presidents and they are free to join any kind of sports. Now, let me get a little bit of introduction about Title IX. Title IX opens opportunities for female athletes to join any kind of sports they want. The main aim is to encourage the participation of both sexes in sports, not only for one gender only. Now, the society can accept female athletes in sports when they have these rules and regulations called Title IX. Now let, me introduce, now let me tell you the three reasons why professional cheerleading does not harm women's rights. First of all, under the key phrase of showmanship. We are actually setting this debate in UK, Australia and also Japan, where professional cheerleaders are abound. Now, these cheerleaders is not just uh, doing cheerleader for normal sports. Well, professional cheerleading is actually more than that because they need the talent to convince the audience to support the sports team by cheering. We all know that audience like to see cheerleaders perform and when these professional cheerleaders perform, of course, they will be encouraged to support the sports team. We have a good example, Wildcats in the story High School Musical, where the cheerleaders give moral support for the team and this is actually enhancing the team's performance so that they will go and get number one. Now secondly, under the key phrase of skills in sports, professional cheerleading needs a lot of skills and cheerleading is already a kind of sports, especially for women. Now, professional cheerleading is actually freedom for women. It is not a problem for them because they enjoy cheerleading and that's what they like. So why would it actually harm their rights by the end of the day, Madam Speaker? So we are actually clarifying to you that professional cheerleading is what women like to do and it's not harming their rights at all. And it is also uh, used as a medium to show their skills and their acrobats. Well, in the past, let me tell you that women are totally excluded from sports. They are not allowed to join any kind of sports, especially in the Olympics. But now, they have proven to society through cheerleading that women have talents too by doing these professional cheerleading. Now, last and but not least, coming to my third point, which is the consensus among the society. Nowadays, people's minds have changed. In the past, women are restricted from doing anything. But now, in the present, any kind of sports are acceptable for women and professional cheerleading will not arise any provocation among the society, but instead it is actually encouraged in the modern day, and it is finally accepted as a form of sport. 
Nowadays, we have cheer competitions, and this clearly proves to us that cheerleading can be accepted as a healthy form of sports, and it is accepted by the medium in the modern day. So what I've been clarifying to you is that professional cheerleading totally does not harm women's rights just because it brings more good than harm and based on the three reasons I've given just now, I totally believe that this house wins the motion and I beg to propose.